Today you're going to learn how to play Seven Angels by Earth, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly Doom content. All right, Seven Angels, the opening track off of Earth's Earth 2. Hugely influential record, genre-defining. Some would say the very first drone metal album, clearly very influential on the band Sun. For today, I'm going to be using this Epiphone G400. We're in drop A tuning. I'm running into a rat into a 69 Laney Supergroup, uh, 60 watt version, and then into a Two Notes Torpedo Cab M Plus. So this song makes incredible use of what I call the four intervals of doom. And so throughout this lesson, you're gonna hear me talk intervals, talking major thirds and flat fifths and major sevenths and so on. And so if you wanna learn a little bit more about it, I've got a complete guide, the four intervals of doom, along with a entire Doom Metal Scale Guide over on Patreon, as well as, of course, the full transcription of this lesson for both guitar and bass. So if you want to grab all of that, follow along, learn a bit of theory, you can check it out at patreon.com slash doesitdoom. I'm going to start out with a quick demo, then we're going to break it down riff by riff. Check it. <laughs> As I mentioned in the introduction, we're in drop A tuning, and this song is in the key of A minor, makes killer use of what I call the four intervals of doom, and that is the flat second interval, the major third interval, the flat fifth interval, and the major seventh interval. So in the demo section, I did play through that introduction, which is a bit of a loose lead almost sounds improvised, really eerie sounding. I'm not gonna cover that today. If you do wanna learn it though, it is in the tab. We're gonna start with what I call the first riff and it goes like this. So 
here we're hitting that root note, chugging on the root note, landing on the major third here, that interval of doom to a flat seventh power chord, and then ending on a perfect fourth. Some measures throughout as he transitions between sections that are just eight eighth notes of chugging. So palm muted open sixth string. The next riff goes like this. Again, we've got this root here on the fifth string, this flat second interval, this major third interval down to a minor third. So this is a flat fifth, a flat sixth, and a perfect fourth. So this flat fifth, another one of those intervals of doom, really uneasy sounding intervals. Here we've got that major seventh sliding down to a perfect fifth and then up to the flat seventh and then ending on a major sixth and the major sixth can also sound pretty doomy when it's introduced into an already minor context. If you're getting some value out of this lesson, please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. The third riff in the song goes like this. see kind of two parts to that riff. The first part So here we're starting on the perfect fifth with a power chord down to the flat fifth, both palm muted. And then on the root. Then we're moving down a fret, doing the same thing. So we'll be on the flat fifth, the perfect fourth, and then a major seventh. And then finally. So major third up to the flat fifth, ending on the minor third. So again, as you're seeing throughout, just using all these really doomy dissonant intervals to give this song the really eerie feel that it has. The end of that one. just playing off that end of the previous riff. Now the third riff all together.
So we end the song on this really big riff. It makes up nearly the entire second half of the song from the seven minute mark onwards. We do, of course, return to the first riff at the very end, but in the tablature, you'll notice we've got timestamps on all of these riffs, so you can follow along with the record as you're learning the song. This big riff goes like this. So again, these really do me dissonant intervals showing up. You've got this first fret here, the minor second. You've got the flat fifth, perfect fifth, the minor sixth. So kind of going natural minor there, Phrygian mode, uh, mixed with the blues scale. And then you've got these notes. Really cool passage here using the natural minor scale ending on that flat fifth. playing back through that one. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and take a screenshot of the video you're watching right now and share it on your own social media. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thanks to all of our Riff Lord tier producers. Remember, you can download the complete four intervals of Doom Guide, Scale Guide, and of course the complete transcription for this lesson over at patreon.com slash doesitdoom. For more content just like this, you can click this YouTube card. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do so by clicking that round subscribe icon. And until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your...